Welcome guys. We meet again with a new tech tip. This would be really helpful for all the classic car lovers out there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a wheel PCD conversion. PCD? Okay, but what's PCD? PCD is the acronym for Pitch Circle Diameter. If you draw a circle pass in the center of all studs on your wheel, the diameter of this circle is called the pitch circle diameter. You can see the PCD of two wheel types here, 4 stud and 5 stud. It is much easier to measure PCD in 4 stud and 6 stud wheels directly. However, for all common wheel types, Following formulas can be used to find the PCD. First, you need to get the S value, which is the distance between center of two neighboring studs. For the PCD, divide your S value with the given factor in each formula. PCD is usually given in millimeters. Okay. So much for the introduction, let's see how we can do the PCD conversion. Sometime back I owned a 1987 Peugeot 305 GL and it had a 108 into 4 PCD stock wheel set. I badly wanted this car to have some deep brand new alloy wheel set. The problem was the unavailability of 108 PCD alloy wheels. I bought a brand new wheel set and its PCD was 114.3 and these are some of the pics of my PCD modification. This is how I did the conversion. I must tell you that this is something I did. I tested this for about one year and drove the car at higher speeds without any issue. What I did may not suit your car or may not agree with your safety policy. I'm just sharing what I did, hoping it will help your project at least in some way. Please prioritize your safety concerns, make sure the modification is safe and take care to do it right. 
This is the spacer I built through Precision Lathework. Hub side has 108 PCD studs and the wheel side has 114.3 PCD studs. Depressions were drilled in to house nuts within the thickness of the spacer. 114.3 PCD studs taken out can be either welded permanently onto the spacer or screwed in tightly. Finally, the complete setup should look something like this. Again, I must stress that this setup should be devised with a good precision and the better you do the job, the safer the conversion is. That winds up this week's tip. Let me share some more photos from my project for your information. Please subscribe my channel, like and share if you are happy with this tip. Comment your concerns below, I will respond to each and every one of them. Let's meet with the next tech tip. Thank you.